12 months, four weeks, in three days. Well over a year ago, I started something that would change the course of my life forever. I used ChatGPT for the first time and Boy, was it everything. Little did I know, just three, nine, six days later, I would be pulling some of my biggest months ever and not only be saving thousands of dollars for my clients, but also be saving them hundreds of hours of work per month. Now, I think everyone I've met so far in my journey has told me something along the lines of, it's not possible, you're too young for this. The thing that you're trying to build, it's not reality, it's just a dream. You can't, as a 15 year old, build something so groundbreaking that it's gonna change the world. But here I am, leading the charge of the AI renaissance. And guess what? I'm here to show you how you can be a part of it. Now, for the people who don't know me, my name is Ibrahim Kashif. I'm the CEO of Horizon AI. I'm a 15 years old AI entrepreneur from Pakistan. And to be honest, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I'm currently looking at one of our biggest months inside Horizon AI, in which we've signed three big clients in just this week. And I look back literally like four months ago in which I was working at least 18 to 20 hours a day, making maybe a hundred dollars a month. And truly man, those numbers beg a question. What changed? Now, to answer that, I wanna go back to my beginning. When I first started Horizon AI, I had no idea what I was doing. I mean, I was just a random kid. Having failed twice in two different businesses, losing so much money in the process, and was just, you know, lost in life. I didn't know what to do. Like I knew everything around me was fake. I had one side saying, hey, buy my courses. I'm a guru, whatever, you'll learn this. You can make $10,000 a month through this. And then I had the other side saying that, hey, you're gonna be a failure if you don't get a degree. I can't recognize you until you get a degree. And I was just lost. I knew that everything was a lie, a trap, and I needed to not just find answers, but I literally also had to find my own questions. And I didn't even know how to do that. And then brother, like all good things, it hit me. The apple falling from the tree moment. Randomly scrolling, I just see a reel about ChatGPT and I obviously go on it and I open this website and I realize that, hey, this is beyond its time. And like Bitcoin 10 years back, I knew that forecasting forward 10 years in the future, if I invested into this AI thing right now, this ChatGPT, whatever this is, I knew that it would not not only benefit me, but it would absolutely change everything about me and what I do. But like I said, my problem with most things is that I didn't know what to do. I didn't have the knowledge. I didn't know how I could make chat GPT or this AI stuff profitable. Like look at it from my perspective, dating back, how do you make just a random texting thing that can give you answers into something profitable? You have no idea about chatbots. You have no idea about voice systems, about automation. You don't even know, but you see, that is how all great things start. I mean, I have my questions now, I have my train. I just need to get my train tracks. Now, fast forward a few weeks. I still could not find my train tracks. I didn't know what direction to go in. I was falling back into my old habits. I was thinking, I was doubting myself, blaming everything besides what actually mattered, which was blaming myself and just being mad at the world. Vapi.ai released their first AI voice agent demo and I instantly rushed over to their website and I. I clicked call now and I kid you not when I first heard it and when I first spoke to it I knew everything that was perfect about AI inside chat GPT about its ability to respond get information do tasks all of that we can combine that with natural human conversation and human voices to literally recreate what humans do we could use it to practically create humans that can do the things of humans, but just don't have the limitations that humans have. Now, I wanna ask you guys a question from a business owner to a business owner. Would you really wanna have to find, interview, review the resume, go ahead and train, go ahead and hire, go ahead and review over an actual human employee? You know, do all of the things to get a human employee in their actual working place and have to deal with their nine to five issues and them not being motivated, them not wanting to do anything, them just sitting there and doing their job. Do you really wanna go through that hassle or would you rather just go through, for example, an AI system that could do 24 seven calls, inbound calls to get orders booked in for something like a restaurant and maybe even be able to check availability. Or maybe you're a real estate owner and you would rather get an AI that could do 24 seven outbound calls to get you in real estate clients. Or maybe 
you would like an AI voice system that can clone your own voice and handle all of your calls 24 seven from your own phone. And yeah, that's all possible. And that's why I built Horizon AI. It's not just about automating and saving money for business owners, but it's more about technological advancements and advancements in AI and straight up innovation to just make things work better. And that's what it is, brother. That's where I've spent the last few months of my life. Not partying, not being a rowdy teenager, not annoying anyone, not doing anything. Just going ahead and tinkering with these AI voice systems to perfect them and develop Develop them until they're ready for the world. Now, if we talk a little bit more about Horizon AI, there's actually a funny story behind the name. Like back then, I didn't know what to name Horizon AI. I didn't know what was, you know, sounded futuristic, sounded like innovation, sounded like the future, which was what we were trying to bring. I didn't know a name that could fit all of that, all of the visions that I had into a single word or multiple words, I didn't know how to do that. So I just got overloaded and I just stopped, hey, let me stop thinking about the name. Let me just say Bahu, boom. B-A-H-U. Yeah, that was actually the first name. Thank God we didn't stick with that. But yeah, anyways, thank God we stick with Horizon AI because Bahu, who, who what, what even is Bahu? Who even knows what Bahu is? Sounds like some weird species of bees or whatever it is, but yeah. Now anyways, Horizon AI, it's not just a company's name or a label or a stamp. It's bigger than any single company out there. And it doesn't just mean nothing. It stands for the future a brighter future for all. It stands for new beginnings, better ones. It stands for a world where AI isn't just a tool, it's a trusted partner. Where you can just sit back, relax, and know that wherever, whatever, AI is handling your inbound and outbound calls, bringing you in sales, money, appointments, whatever it is, it's handling it, you know? I don't know what it is. I look at companies like Nike, Apple, you know, Chanel, and I see one thing. I see a business owner, he or she with a vision and a company behind it with a legacy. Like speaking about Steve Jobs and Apple for a second, he was actually one of the people that I was inspired by most. And look at the facts, he was revolutionary. He was the genius of the time, whatever it was, but he was just a normal, regular, every single day guy. The only difference is he had a vision and he cared about that vision so much to make it a legacy. Now, when I look at Horizon AI and the vision that we're going towards, I don't wanna be Steve Jobs. I don't wanna create Apple, but I wanna build and create and innovate what they stood for. Like Steve Jobs, he didn't try and sell you. He wasn't off on marketing saying that, hey, I buy this new Apple iPhone, it's gonna be $6.99, hey, we got the best features over here, you got a new camera, two more megapixels wider, whatever it is, he didn't do that at all. He had values, he stood for innovation, he didn't care what it took, he would bring the future to you. He stood for advancement and he stood for a way to make human beings feel better about living by automating and making their lives easier. And that's what Horizon AI and I personally stand for. We stand for those values. But I'll be honest, we don't have it all figured out. Sometimes our clients come up to us and say that, hey, I don't like the voice. It sounds too, you know, not like an actual human being. I need you to change it. I don't like how it's doing this. I don't want it to do that. We have problems, but like every business, like every software, the more the people actually use the software, the more we can figure out, hey, this could be better for the next iteration and the next version. The more feedback that we receive, the better we can make our inventions and prioritize the future as a whole body. And you know, I realized sometimes it's okay okay to have feedback like that because if you never have a bad day, if you never had a bad complaint, you'll never know what a good complaint is or you're never gonna know what good feedback is or a good day, you're never gonna know what that is if you haven't felt the negative part. If a company never had a bad day, never had a faulty product, never had anything that would go wrong, I would not trust it because I know in reality things go wrong. There is a reason for that. There's a reason to have a bad day so you can understand the value of a good day. But now that I'm talking about feedback and all that, I think back to the times of the first Macs and Macintosh and all that in which Steve Jobs said, and I'm just paraphrasing here, sometimes you have to work backwards from the customer to the tech. And analyzing that, you realize that he had the ability to understand that, hey, tech is a tool. 
But when you combine it with what humans actually want, it becomes an ability, it becomes innovation, it becomes technological advancements. And he had the ability to release products for so cheap prices, even if they're worth like, you know, 10 times more, because he knows that, hey, my customers need to see this, I need to get feedback on this, and I need to build the best version so that I can help the future 100 years in advance. He thought about the human race as a whole. He thought about innovation, about technology. He thought about making the world a better place. He genuinely cared about his customers. And guess what? At Horizon AI, my brother, we've learned to just genuinely care about you guys. If we talk about the AI renaissance for a second, it's no simple task. I mean, it's not about just saying that, hey, I want to do AI. I want to be this guy. I want to do that. No, it's about taking action. It's about learning to learn. It's not like a moment where you're just like, hoo-ha, I'm going to go ahead and sell all of these AI automated solutions. I'm going to make so much money. These AI voice agents are amazing. It's not like that. It's actually hard. And speaking about my own personal experience, my first client told me that I was greedy, that he didn't want to work with me. He hated what I did. And he was just constantly ignoring me making me feel like okay what the hell is happening here this is my first try about these AI automated solutions why is this so weird why is this so different and since we're on the topic of some of my failures I developed seven different AI automated systems fully developed systems and I got scammed in the implementation process of it seven different times I got scammed and being 120% transparent, I probably almost pulled out my hair a thousand times because it's 1 a.m. and I'm trying to figure out how this webhook is going to trigger the result back to the AI voice agent after a function is called. And I'm just going like, hey, what the hell is this? I, I have a demo meeting tomorrow. What is going on? But we're going to stop there because that's not even the worst and the hardest things that have happened to me. But because I genuinely care for you guys, I'm going to give you guys the cheat sheet, the, you know, not a skipper level, but the way to actually win the game. It's how I transitioned my business from being all of these failures from seven AI systems built every single month to seven different clients and not getting paid at all to actually going and developing and signing big, big clients for big, big projects that require a lot of effort and a lot of work. The cheat sheet is this. Everyone learns AI from YouTube. I learned it from YouTube. You guys probably watched some courses. I also watched some courses. I, I even got a client and I learned the most I could from him through experience because life is one of the best teachers. But that is the simple way to go. The thing that takes way too long. If you want to be that person who gets ahead of the average, because look, we're limited in time. You have to jump ahead the competition with whatever resources you have. The only way to do that, and the only way I recommend truly from my heart is join a community. I'm currently in the development process of a limited spot community called the AI Renaissance. It's a group in which we have courses about all major AI automated voice systems, and we do weekly Q and A's in which we just gather together, discuss ideas. We also have a Wednesday tab in which we go ahead and inspire each other through hey i figured out that this email template doesn't work i went ahead and i closed this client for 900 dollars using this email template go ahead and use it that one's on me we're doing this to not just go ahead and make a bunch of money together yeah sure that's amazing but like i said to go ahead and unite the future to one simple cause ai voice systems for every business out there. We all work to one striving goal, not competing, but uniting, uniting to make the best AI voice systems out there. And now is your chance to be a part of the AI Renaissance. Go ahead, link in the description, fill out my form, and I will save you guys a spot inside the group so that when it starts, you guys are the first to get the invite. And look, man, trust me, don't miss out on the opportunity of a group like this, of a community like this, because look, if you want to run a mill, go ahead and spend a year with three mill owners. That's how you're going to learn the best way and the most fastest. Your surroundings will always define you, and this is the perfect surroundings surroundings, the perfect community to go ahead and expand into the innovation of the future, the advancements of technology. So tell me, my brothers, do you want to be a part of the renaissance, a revolution, the generation revolution, which will change our lives forever and this period of time forever? Or do you want to just stay scrolling? You tell me. So that's all we got time for today. Go ahead and hit the bell icon and Give me comments on how you guys like this video and the future upcoming group and all of these projects. I really love hearing your guys' feedback, so go ahead and do that for me. And yeah, like, subscribe, comment, whatever it is, stay hard.